Unfortunately, my appearance on MSNBC today to comment about the speaker's race was canceled because of all the breaking news and that's fine. But I just wanted to say a couple of things. I want to caution everyone not to get caught up in the pleasantries and the pomp and circumstance of this speaker's race. Yes, everyone was exhausted. And yes, this had been a historic delay in having a speaker. But the Republican Party just handed the speaker's gavel to an election denier. He might be an affable election denier, but he's an election denier nonetheless. He is known now, according to Matt Gates, as MAGA Mike Johnson. Just remember that. MAGA Mike Johnson. This is the person who now has the speaker's gavel. The Republicans were applauding and standing, including the Biden 18, who were supposed to be the moderates, applauding someone who was, according to Liz Cheney, the architect of the election objectors for January 6th. This is a guy who hides behind his constitutional lawyer status, using constitutionally dubious arguments to try to invalidate the 2020 election results of Joe Biden becoming president of the United States. This is who Mike Johnson is. Do not be fooled by the normalization of this man. This is the erosion of our democratic institutions, the slow burn of this coup attempt in this country that started with Donald Trump trying to overturn the election and all of the enabling Republicans who have gone along with this. I caution my democratic friends, do not acquiesce to the normalization of this attempt to undermine our constitutional order by handing the gavel over to someone who tried and to this day has not apologized for or found Jesus in his um, invalidation attempts, okay? He still believes this. He is a MAGA puppet. MAGA world is celebrating right now and they should, they're winning. But we as the American people need to remember who these people are we need to make sure they are defined like that and understand the choices that are at stake here going into 2024. These people are dangerous and they are, there is no appeasing authoritarianism and that's exactly what they're doing. So we need to make sure that these people are denied power moving forward. Elections have consequences and democracy does not defend itself. We need to define who these people are. We need to make sure the American people understand the choice and are not falling victim to the normalization of this type of authoritarian power grab by MAGA extremists. Democracy does not defend itself. It's up to us to defend it.